Hey, I'm Donald Bell for CNET.com and today I'm going to show you how to make an iPad safe for kids. My two-year-old goes berserk for this thing. With the help of some Sesame Street videos or coloring games, I can keep him from bouncing off the walls for at least a few minutes. That said, I would never leave him alone with the iPad, partly because he would delight in throwing this thing down the stairs, but mostly because the internet is a nasty, nasty place. You never know when an innocent Google search could turn into a lifetime of therapy. There's also the fact that the iTunes Store and the App Store on the iPad are tied directly to my credit card and might offer content I'd object to even in preview form. So how do you sanitize the iPad to make it okay for kids to use unattended? Well, Apple thought of that. Just dive into the settings and select General from the side menu. You'll see an option for Restrictions. Click it and hit the Enable Restrictions button. You'll be prompted to create a four-digit passcode that you'll need to enter if you ever want to change these settings later on. Once enabled, you can selectively kill off access to the Safari web browser, the YouTube app, the iTunes and App Store, and make it so that the iPad doesn't report its location to any of your installed apps. You can further lock it down to disable purchases from within apps, determine which country's age-appropriate rating system you want to use, disable playback of explicit music and podcasts, and select rating requirements for movies, TV shows, and apps. After you're done, just hit the home button and all of your settings will be saved. Just remember, if you try to access the restriction settings again to make any changes, you'll need to remember the four-digit password you created. So that's how to make the Apple iPad safer for kids. You can also use the same technique on the iPhone or the iPod Touch. For CNET.com, I'm Donald Bell.